My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, I've got this steel MS290 chainsaw. I upgraded to a 390, and the decompression button on this has broken. Uh, the pin fell out, and I think it fell on the cylinder. So we're gonna take this part, see if we can fix it, or if we've got catastrophic failure. Okay, here's our still MS290. Again, this has a, a 390 top end, which I believe is the 49 uh, millimeter, whatever, instead of a 45. And this has been sitting out all winter long, hasn't been used, and went out over the weekend and put it to use. Ran it through a tank and a half, and it went kaput on me. So about halfway through running this, I noticed that the little push knob had fallen off. Uh, this is the decompression uh, valve that was sent out with that kit. So that kit had uh, a crank in it, a piston, a top end, um, the decompression valve. I think it even came with a spark plug. I can't remember. I don't think I put in that spark plug, um, but I very well could have. Um, in fact, I think I might have put the, the cheap spark plug in there. So this, this engine's been going great, running real strong. Uh, and then doing some research, it sounds like these... Um, still machines are known for for losing those rings so you can see here the piece fell out So I'm running the machine. and I noticed that the top piece is missing and I just say whatever no big deal um, the Thing fell off. I'll have to buy a new one and then next thing you know uh, the Thing just cuts off it completely dies Then I go to pull on the pull string And we got nothing it's stuck so if we look in here yeah, you can see in there we've got some sort of obstruction. Let's see what we can do to try and get that out. I'm hoping that cylinder's not wrecked, but it very well could be. I don't remember how easy this is to get off this cover. Yeah, I think it's a big portion of it. So, that's an indicator to you how much I've used this. I haven't used this machine a ton, um, but I don't think I've cleaned that filter yet. I know a lot of guys have questions on these and how, how well they hold up. Okay, push the piston down. Now this little ring should be loose in here at least. Now how do I get that out? I wish I had a magnet. Voila. Okay, so this is the end that's supposed to be facing the cylinder. And then this is the end that's supposed to have the lid on it. So, it obviously broke. So here we're supposed to... That's supposed to be in there, and then you you push the button in, and that pops out a little bit and allows the air to go out when you're trying to, to pull the starter. And then when it fires up, it kicks that valve closed and holds it shut. So it actually snapped off, because it's only that length. So somehow while it's running, it's hard to tell, but that almost looks like rusty on the end there. I, th I, I think that's severed right there. I mean, how else will this be held in? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this to fire back up. I already ordered replacement parts, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this back in here. We're gonna be losing compression like crazy through that hole. I just wanna see if I can turn it over and if we can build up some compression, if we can feel like it might fire up again. You know, in order this, I, I really debated back and forth if I wanted to just put a plug in here. Plug was like two bucks. That a new one of these was, uh, you know, eight, ten dollars. Not, not horrible. Um, some of the still ones were quite a bit more expensive. I mean, the, the still parts are nuts. Like a, a new piston and top end for this, I think it was like thirty bucks. I mean, when I th I think the steel decompression lever there, probably the same price. Might be our lucky day. Wish I had some JB Weld or something. Weld that up and see if we can get that to work as a plug. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that's gonna fire up. There's just not anywhere near enough compression. 
So we'll have to wait on that new part. We'll install it and um, see if we can get this thing fired back up. Um, it really seems like, you know, the, the piston might, the walls might be scored, the piston might be damaged, it could be cracked. Um, who knows? But everything's rotating now. I mean, this thing just seized up. Obviously, um, this piece just jammed in there and it prevented it from turning over at all. And it smashed it pretty good. You can see there, that's the part that obviously got smashed. It's really odd to me that that is so clean right there. Um, but it looks like that part might have got smashed too. But uh, we'll get that new one in there. And uh, on the next clip, we'll see if we can fire this thing up. Okay, look what showed up in the mail here. We got this part from Amazon. This is the decompression valve. I didn't realize this, but this has a little... So you press this and that bumps out. I think every, the blow-by comes out this hole right here. And if you look inside here, you can see where that actually is blowing right there. So I'm not sure if that's well as breaking that that was occurring or what. And as you can see here, when I did the upgrade from the 290 to the 390, uh, that's not going to fit in there. Bummer. Um, I had to modify this cover case in order for that to fit. Uh, I just drilled that out. So when you start this, you press that in, you pull it, and that pressure, which that's not good if that's not popping back out, the pressure of it firing over kicks it out. Well, this is building compression. Almost kicked over. Does not sound good. might have incurred some damage in here. I gotta have to take this thing apart.
think she's a goner. So, on the next episode, we'll take this part, see what happened inside. Obviously, you know that piece got in there. What damage did it do? Crack the piston, crack the cylinder wall, just scratch it up. Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, out of breath, but uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Well, thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in my uh, 390 conversion on this, uh, check out my other videos on the channel. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I did a conversion on this from the 290 to 390 with a cheap kit. I think it was like $68, $70 for the rebuild kit. And unfortunately, the uh, decompression thing fell apart on this into the cylinder. So we're going to take the part. Blah.